Pocho. Wait a minute. Almost another, almost another Salco, Salco, Salco with the takeoff technique there. The Ross Telecom Cup 2021. The men's champion. Morrissey's questionable quad toe loops jumping technique came into the spotlight. Many fans rush in to give this new jump a new name. Something like Toe Sal. Sal Toe. Sal No Toe. Sal Oop. And that, my friend, is how a figure skating jumps names were invented. Whole blade, leaving the ice there. If you are new to this figure skating hoo ha, it's hard enough to differentiate different jumps let alone distinguishing the jumps with the so-called wrong techniques. There are plenty of figure skating videos and channels out there focusing on analyzing the jump executed perfectly or wrongly. I gotta admit some were toxic, done with super sarcastic tones, but some were indeed educational without any ill intent. You can agree or disagree with those videos. But if you miss out on all these jumping terms, you miss half the fun of watching skating. So in this video, we decided to introduce all the terms invented by fans for the questionable jumping techniques. No criticism intended. Just for education, I promise. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Before we jump into the video, make sure that you go down and subscribe to my channel. That way you are always the first to know whenever I upload a video and so you don't miss one. Figure skating top six. Questionable jumps to watch. Number six. Lutz is the highest value toe jump. What makes it hard is the counter-rotational moves entering into the jump. You will see the skaters turning clockwise, getting into the backward outside edge position, and use the right toe pick to vault their body up and start rotating anti-clockwise in the air. So let's take off using outside edge, remember that. Another jump with similar takeoff mechanism is a flip jump. Except it's taking off using inside edge, we will come to flip later but when executing the LUTs, some skaters would start rotating their body anti-clockwise prior to taking off, which changes their takeoff edge from outside to inside edge, and thereby gaining a little pre-rotation on ice. This is considered a cheated jump, and so people started calling it the FLOTS, the FLIP and LUTs. Get it now? So FLOTS is a serious mistake. Grade of execution will be deducted according to the judging protocols, Mao Asada was one of the skaters who suffered the most for this call. She openly admitted she had problem with her LUTs, changed her coach, relearned the jumping techniques. But still, she would get called for the wrong edge takeoff from time to time. In contrast, her main competitor, Yuna Kim was well known as the textbook jumper for LUTs. With mainly the textbook perfect triple LUTs, Yuna Kim broke the 150-point barrier for women's free skate in the 2010 Winter Olympics. In the free program. A figure skating world record held for the longest time ever. Even Yuna couldn't beat that record again herself. Until Evgenia Medvedeva broke her world record in the 2016 World Championships. Which opened the floodgate of Yuna fans, coming out to point out Zhenya's flots issue. Beautiful triple with the arm over the head. And why she didn't deserve to be the one who broke Yuna's record. However, some fans jumped into Zhenya's defense and pointed out that many champions in the past have the flots issues as well and that she shouldn't be solely targeted for that flaw. Let's not jump into the fan war here. And it does, Lipinski upsets Michelle Kwan. And let's think constructively. Yuzuru Hanyu, another well-known textbook Let's Jumper, wrote that in his thesis. Judging is always different from competition to competition because it relies solely on the technical referee. The referee can only see the jumps from one direction. Some choreographers would make use of this loophole and choreograph the jumps at the referee's blind spot. Well done spilling the beans Yuzu. <laughs> so what other juicy tea did he spill in this thesis? Let's get to the... Number 5 In Han Yu's thesis, he used physics to explain the different forces used for toe jumps versus edge jumps. Check out that video if you haven't. Then, he also covered the topic on pre-rotations where the skaters utilizing the full blade instead of toe pick to thrust up on the ice, making the LUTs look like a loop jump. Let's see how the Italian commentator explained this. Dopo la puntata, resta giù. Eh sì. Sostanzialmente questo non è un LUT tecnicamente, ma è un Rydberg. Non viene preso dalla punta, ma ah, da, dalla lama, dal filo. So some fans started calling this jump a loops. Loop and LUTs. 
Get it? Well at least they are still using the outside edge for the loops. What if some skaters have both a flots and loops issue? Let's go to the... Number 4 When a Lutz is performed with the inside edge, it is called the flots by fans. So, when the skater used full blade to thrust up like the loop, some fans started calling this a floops. Flots and loop become the floops. Get it? Okay, I got it. Wait, what about the flip executed with full blade assist then? Which brings us into... Number 3 So yes, same goes to flip jump. When performing with full blade assisted technique, fans call this a floop. Flip with loop. Without the Z at the end. A lot of quad flip jumpers like Anna Sherbakova, Shoma Uno, and Vincent Joe are always subjected to fans' criticism for this jump. Some fans adore Nathan Chen and Alexandra Trusova because they have the relatively clean toe jump techniques with minimal pre-rotation. They are called the powerful jumpers. I mean, look at Sasha's quad flip takeoff. Full of difficult transitions and... As easy as you like. So why do skaters use full blade instead of toe pick? Again, read Han Yu's thesis. If the inertia of motion alone couldn't help you to land quad, let's hope the centrifugal force helps you get there. To be frank, these flaws are only visible when you use a super slow-mo. Something the judges won't do during judging. Since they are not penalized for that. Some skating clubs make use of the loophole and promote this full blade assisted takeoff technique. Another tea spilled in Han Yu's thesis. Honestly, imagine this. If you figure out a way to work less and get the full credits, would you not do it? So if you are not happy, target the judging system. Not the skaters, please. Despite all these technical imperfections, let's not forget that what they are doing is still incredibly difficult, almost at a superhuman level. People questioned her, but don't. Well, you can question their techniques, but at least you can still observe clear toe pick from the skaters. The next one, the toe pick is barely visible at all. Which brings us into... Number 2 what got the fans outraged about Morrissey's jumping techniques is that he barely even raised his foot to toe in for the jump. In this video, you can see there is barely any difference between his quad toe and quad sal. Without slow-mo you wouldn't even observe the toe pick planted there. And according to the judging guide, judges cannot watch the jump in slow-mo. So fans questioned if judges could really tell the difference when he executed that quad sal and quad toe together. One more thing to think about. Number 1 Flip is the second highest value toe jump. Why is the jump named the flip? Let's put it this way. This is the same takeoff or backflip on ice as well. It's considered slightly easier than Lutz because it doesn't have the counter rotational moves prior to taking off. Skaters normally enter into the jump with three turns or a mohawk turn. Side note. My all-time favorite is always the twizzle entry into flip jump by Yuzuru Hanyu. No one else uses this entry and it's the most beautiful entry for flip in the world. A relatively simple triple flip but basically camouflages it within the correct. Flip takes off almost the same like the Lutz to the untrained eyes. The only difference is the edge. Lutz uses the outside edge. Flip uses the inside edge to take off. Some skaters are too used to the Lutz jump and they over rotate their body, taking off from the outside edge instead. So that's called a lip. Flip with the Lutz. It is penalized the same as Flots, but it's actually two different kind of mistakes. Flots is pre-rotation. Lip is over-rotation. So it's not hard to guess. This mistake happened often to the textbook Lutz jumpers like Unikim and Yuzuru Hanyu. In the early days, Unikim's triple flip was called for wrong edge takeoff as well. So some fans also called out the judges for favoring Unikim over her lip mistake. What? Yep. Fans war never end. And Yuzuru Hanyu was also subjected to a lot of lip call in the past. In his own thesis, he used his own lip to portray how the motion graphic capture could help detecting wrong edge takeoff. In this diagram, you can see his single flip was done with the correct inside edge but his triple flip was executed with the wrong outside edge. It took him a lot of focus and effort to correct the edge violation. So you will see it's actually quite hard to get the correct edge all the time for the flip and Lutz jumps. 
Even for the best textbook jumpers, the difficulty again is about whether the judging is fair, which is a never-ending probe when humans are involved. All right, that's it for our video today. Don't forget to leave a comment and let us know what do you think. Remember to subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you.